Hi class, welcome back to Mathematics Year Two. Okay, I'm Madam Audrey. Today we are going to look at a new topic, fraction and decimals. We are going to recognize and write fractions. Let's look at the learning standards. For today, three point one point one, identify and state the proper fractions with one as the numerator and denominator up to ten. Three point one point two, name the proper fractions with numerators up to nine and denominator up to ten. 3.1.3 represent with diagrams based on given fractions. And last one, 3.1.4 write given proper fractions. Hmm, do you know what is fractions? What is numerator? Denominator? Diagrams? Must be confusing for you. Don't worry. Just listen and learn from this video, and you know what is fraction, numerator, denominator, and diagrams by the end of this lesson. Fractions. Let's take a look at this story. I have cut this cake into three equal parts. Wow, equal size. Equal means sama, sama besar. Sebab mesti adil. So, I get one part. I get one part two. One out of three part is one over three. These are the cakes that has been cut. Three parts. So each person get one part. So orang. Ambil satu bahagian. One over three can be written in sentence like this. One over three, or in words one with a dash, three, a line in between the two numbers. The one on top is called numerator. This one, this line, it's over. That's why in the sentence we have over. The one below is denominator. So say it with me, class. Numerator. Numerator. The one below, denominator. D no me. Nature, denominator. Remember, fractions must be equal parts, sama besar. Let's take a look at few example and tell me which one is fractions. Remember, equal parts. See the circle. Okay, they are all divided. A, B, and C. First, second, and third. Which one is equal parts? First one is it equal parts? Second one, equal parts or third one? So, the equal parts that we can say fractions is the first 
and the second. The third is not divided equally. Example number two. Okay, we look at the first one. Is it divided equally? Sama besata. Second one. Third one. So, which one is fraction? Divided equally is only the first one. The number two and number three, not equal. Tidak dibahagi sama rata ataupun sama besar. Now we look at the shape of square. First one, is it divided equally? How about second one? How about the last one? Is it divided equally? Same size? So, which one is fraction? The first and the second. The third one, no. Another example, shape of a triangle. Must be divided equally. Let's take a look. First one, divided equally or not? How about second one, divided equally? Third one? So, the one which is divided equally is number one and two. Last example. Okay, this shape. Is the first one divided equally? Same shape? How about second one? How about third one? Which one is fraction? Only the first one. Remember, fraction must be divided equally. Equal parts. Fraction, dia kena bahagi sama besar. Kalau bukan sama besar, bukan fraction. Let's take a look at this story. Hmm, someone is holding a cake. Okay, that's a cake. How many slices of cakes are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. The cakes, is it divided equally? Yes, right? Same size. One is missing. She's holding one. So, one slice of the cake, she's holding it. She has taken one over six slices. Okay, one over six cakes. One slice is one over six cakes. In numeral form, okay, in number form, we write the numerator first. Numerator is 1, then over, then we write the denominator, 6. So this is 1 over 6. Let's take a look at the next example. A heart. Is it divided equally? Yes, right? So, how many parts? One, two. There are two parts. How many parts are red? Okay, two parts. How many are red? One over two. The denominator and the numerator, 
Do you still remember? Numerator on top, denominator at the bottom. So, the denominator is 2, the numerator is 1. 1 over 2. Next example. Divided equally, right? Because the shape is the same. Let's count how many parts. 1. 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, the denominator, 5. How many parts is red? 1. So it's 1 over 5. In numbers, we write, okay, numerator, and denominator. The denominator is 5, then numerator is 1. 1 over 5. Let's look at this. This is a wall. Okay, this wall are blues and whites. Let's count how many parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The boy said, I have not painted three out of ten parts. 3 over 10 is still white. So this 3 part. 1, 2, 3. 3 parts as 3 over 10 is still white. Okay, so you can write it like this. The denominator is 10. Numerator is 3. 3 over 10. In numbers, you write it 3 over 10 like this. Next example, how many parts? 1, 2, 3, 4. How many is purple? 1. So, you write 1 over 4. Okay, next. How many parts? 1, 2, 3, 4. How many with color? The color purple. 2, right? So you write 2 over 4. Another example. This time all has colors but yellow and green. How many parts are here? Okay, I'm not going to count. You have to count. How many? There are nine parts. Sembilan bahagian kan? How many are yellow? Count. The answer is four. So it's four over nine. How many are green? Count. How many greens? Five. So it's five over nine.
Remember, yeah? This one is denominator. Okay, the number of shapes. How many are there? Berapa bahagian? Number of parts. And this is the numerator. How many with certain colors? Okay, below denominator, on top numerator. Always remember this. Remember what is fraction? Fraction is of equal parts. And you have also learned what is numerator and denominator. Numerator on top, numerator ke atas, denominator at the bottom. Denominator yang di bawah itu, di tengah-tengah ialah over. Okay, now I'm going to introduce you to diagrams. One over two. So you can draw two equal parts. Okay, the denominator two equal parts. Okay, two boxes. Then the numerator is one only. Means you can only color one part. This is the diagram for one over two. Diagram ialah gambar ataupun uh, ilustrasi untuk fraction itu. Next one, three over four. So you draw four of equal parts then how many do you have to color three so you have to color three parts one two and three this is three over four one last example one over six okay so the denominator is six. Draw equal part of six. Okay. And you only color one. So in your exercise book, your exercise book has this squares as well, right? Okay, dalam buku latihan masing-masing, in your exercise book, draw the diagram for the following. Okay, you can pause the video and copy all this question first. Then you draw. Remember, this is your homework for today. Draw the diagram for the following. Thank you class. I hope you understand what is fraction, numerator, denominator, and also diagram. I'll see you again at the next lesson. Goodbye.